So I'm going to talk today about career changes. And if I think about the story that I want to tell you, it's not career changes, it's really career refocusing. And if I think about it deeply, deeply enough, I think this is a midlife crisis story. So pay attention. <laughs> so let me start. Uh, so my name is Ronit Wilk, and I'm a PhD in molecular biology. And I've been a scientist for a long, long time. And recently, I turned into an artist. Um, so it all goes back to the house where I grew up. So this is the house where I grew up. And it's, as you can see, it's a blue and, and greenish house. So the blue part of it was the science part of my house because my dad was a doctor and some of my sisters were really science inclined. So I really grew up with this science environment. But then there's my mom's side and my grandfather's side where art was part of their essence and their development. So I kind of grew up with these two different worlds. Now, when I started university and school, I really, really focused on science. And I became a, a biologist and a molecular biologist. So I was stuck for hours on end on this dark microscope room, looking at these amazing images, thinking, how come nobody else is seeing these beautiful images? They're so gorgeous. Why don't we share them with other people. So recently, I started this project where I turn microscopy images into artistic pieces in art. So I'll show you some examples of that. This is one of my first pieces that I did. Uh, it's a rock of bronze cut in the middle. And then if you put on a microscope, this is kind of what you see. This is an illustration that I did by hand. And each one of those colors is a different mineral of the rock, and it also has bronze on it. So this is something you see under a microscope, designed by nature, that people don't get to see every day. So I decided to turn it into an art piece. This is another example, one of my favorites. This is the cross section of a fern stem. So in the middle, you see that circle. That's where the stem would grow on the plant. And those blue cells at the corner is where the leaf cells are starting to grow. So when you look at it, it looks like abstract art and very uh, modern art, but it's really what you see under a microscope when you cut a fern open and you see it. And those big holes in the center is where the water goes up and down to, to feed the plant and to give it nutrition. I just find it fascinating. Uh, this is the crystal of oxytocin, so I call it the love art. Uh, oxytocin is the hormone we secrete when we are hugged, or when we cuddle, or when people love us, or when you pet your dog. So this piece of art represents love, but it's really the crystal of a hormone. Uh, this is another cool example. It's the crystal of a sugar molecule. And as you can see, it looks very psychedelic and, <laughs> and very sweet as well. Uh, this is another crystal of a menthol or mint molecule. So it's a very fresh piece of art. It'll make you smile and give you fresh bread. <laughs> and uh, this is another example. It's the root of a barley. So if you take the little root of a barley, cut it, see it under the microscope, you will see all these beautiful cells, and this one was drawn by hand as well. Uh, this is the wing of a butterfly, seen under the microscope, and you can see all the different cells and how each cell contributes with a different pigmentation color to make this very beautiful piece of, uh, of pattern and art. And you can take this art and hang it in your office, or create your own collection if you want. And all this comes from nature, but it's now hanging on the wall, so it's a perfect opportunity to educate people about the beauty of science and, and to show and to spark that interest in science. So uh, I just want to leave with this phrase from Gandhi saying that the future depends on what you do today. And the reason I put this phrase is because a few months ago I decided to shift the focus of my career and turn my science into art, so it's never too late to start something new.
Thank you.